Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo for Classic Game Room, and today we are looking at Mortal Kombat vs. the DC Universe for the Xbox 360. Although it's one of the most successful fighting franchises of all time, Mortal Kombat Armageddon had given the series a true ending, and it would take some masterful work to come up with a new way for our favorite combatants to finish each other once again. Also, with Midway Games ruining financially when this game was being made, they needed a surefire winner, or else they might be feeling one of their own fatalities. Enter one of the most enduring pop culture juggernauts ever created, DC Comics. With the likes of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, and many others, you had instantly recognizable names, faces, places, and powers that had just recently been rejuvenated themselves through blockbuster box office returns, and were in the midst of one of the largest comic book story arcs ever when this was released with The Final Crisis. From a storyline that actually makes sense courtesy of veteran comic book writers Justin Gray and Jimmy Palmiotti, to brand new features like testing your might in the middle of a battle, and mid-air and special close combat fighting sequences, and I couldn't help but think at the time that the series had successfully been renewed. The graphics for the game are superb, with real-time damage happening to everyone's bodies. From torn capes to black eyes, you could almost feel the pummeling you're dishing out yourself as you wreak bloody havoc on your opponents. It's just a shame that the audio doesn't live up to the visual standards, as the voice acting was barely average. And to hear, Green Lantern wins, after a round in that classic Mortal Kombat narration, well, it was just weird. In terms of the combat, the old Mortal Kombat system mostly returned intact, but came along with a few new twists. There were now expert moves, moves that, if timed correctly, were automatically done twice, and done more powerfully the second time. However, so small was the window to pull off these moves that even the best players would be having difficulty performing them every time. Mix this with the potential for some old-school 10-hit combos, the new mid-air and up-close fighting sequences, and some revamped fatalities, and brutalities for the DC heroes, of course, since they can't kill, and the gameplay may be the best of any game that has Mortal Kombat in the title to date. Now, the big change to this story mode from previous Mortal Kombat games is that, even though it worked for a short while, there's no more third-person action-adventure. The story plays out for you in between character-specific fights. For example, when Batman meets Scorpion, and the two have words with each other in a cutscene, there's no third-person take on this. We go to an old-school, best-of-three-rounds combat scenario. The addition of DC's greatest heroes and villains is a great new twist for this franchise, and by having a deep story mode, you can play from both point of views. You also get a chance to try almost every character to see their strengths and weaknesses before you take them online. Speaking of online play, it is very well executed on Xbox Live, with minimal lag and plenty of chat rooms. This way, if you don't want to try ranked matches, you can always find an opponent as you try to impose your will onto the Mortal Kombat community. Those are the game's positives, but there are a few negatives. One of the biggest ones is that there are no level-specific fatalities like in previous games. In the last installment of the Mortal Kombat series, you could knock your opponent into a lava pit, or a giant meat grinder by hitting them up against certain walls or boundaries. Unfortunately, these have all been removed. Another issue I had was the lack of unlockables. The crypt has been removed, and the only things you can unlock, aside from story and arcade endings, are two bonus characters added to the 20 you start out with. With only these minor negatives, though, I can't help but highly recommend this game for anyone who is a fan of fighting games, the DCU, or Mortal Kombat, and should be a part of any of those fans' collection. Along with your standard arcade mode, a really well done story mode, and tremendous online play, I don't know how you couldn't want this game.